What's going on, everybody? See here. Welcome back to some more Satisfactory. We're here at Red Spire Factory. Uh, you know, actually, I had a lot of comments about names that I really liked. Um, one was like Crimson Tower. One was uh, Crimson Citadel. I like the Crimson thing, but I think we're gonna stick with Red Spire. It's easy. It's quick and it's fast, and I like it. But uh, yeah, we're back. We're doing th some more things. Hopefully, you guys enjoy. If you do, like, subscribe, all the fun things. So we've done this point this far now. Until this point, we've kind of been playing with the same things. We're just basically rebuilding the same things for the last three episodes. I don't want to do that anymore. I want to make something new. <laughs> so we need to go ahead and we need to get research going so we can actually unlock maybe some, you know, new things. Like, that'd be crazy, right? So we're going to go ahead. We're going to try to knock out as much research as we can today. And then we need to get part assembly going because we need the smart plating in order to get our next tiers. And like I said before, I really want to, I like, I really want to use the trains like a lot because that just sounds exciting. So uh, we're going to go ahead. We're going to get field research going because that'll get the ma'am. We need the ma'am. Yes, ma'am. We need that. Um, There's those and there's those. Okay, awesome. So let's go grab some screws. Let's leave a like on the video if you enjoy it. If you don't, it's fine. I understand. Maybe it's not your cup of tea. Maybe it's not your thing. That's fine. That's fine. We need doorways in here because I need that. Wait, no, I don't need access. What am I doing? They're right here. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we've got plates. We've got some rods and we've got screws. 500. Is that all I needed? How many screws did I need? 300. Yes. Research complete. Now we have the ma'am. Right? Where's the ma'am? Oh, wait! The ma'am is not a thing anymore! I forgot! The ma'am's not in the room! The ma'am is not in the room. The ma'am is out here. Uh. Okay, let's throw the ma'am. Oh. Over here. I'm missing stuff, though. Okay. All right, we need some reinforced iron plates. I probably should actually automate this stuff. Uh, we might get into that a little bit today as well because iron plates is something that we're gonna need a lot of any hoozles. So let's throw the ma'am, we'll throw it in this area right here. This could be our like research center. Ooh, ooh, I like this. Yes, yes, very nice, very nice. Okay, so alien organs, power slugs. Let's start off with a blue power. Wait a second. Blue power slugs. They used to be green. Weren't they green before? Wait a second. Blue, yellow? What? What? I didn't even, I, they used to be green. When did they switch from green to blue? Oh, Miss Z's not going to like that. She's green team for life. Oh, she's not going to be happy. Where's the red power slugs? Okay. All right. So that research is done. Let's go ahead and let's select our next milestone here. Uh, part assembly. That's why we can't make anything yet. So we probably should go ahead. <gasps> oh, if we did the awesome shop, though, we could start making the red citadel. Okay, we got to we gotta do the awesome shop because we got to make the red citadel. <laughs> so I need concrete, wire, rods, and plates. Okay. Concrete, wire, rods, and plates. I think we can do this. I think we can do this. Concrete, rods, wire, plate. I already messed it up, didn't I? Concrete, uh, rods, wire, and plates. Okay, I, th I think I, I think I have all this stuff. Yes, I do. Ha ha ha! And then we can get the awesome shop, and then we can see what we need for some of the more decorative stuff. Awesome. Okay, so boom, done done and done hit the button let's do it okay so now awesome sink and the awesome shop okay you can we can skip that we don't i i'm fine we don't need the the thing um okay so we need some screws and some plates now i believe unless they changed it i believe the first thing you always do is you use your first tickets to buy turbo motors then you use the turbo motors to put into the sink to get even more tickets right is that the thing is that what people do is that what the kids are doing nowadays <laughs> i think so okay so let's see let's go ahead and let's go over here and we'll throw the awesome shop which one's like the front i don't really know let's throw the awesome shop like right there 
And then the awesome sink. We need 15 of those. Okay, hold on. Let's take a peek here. So architecture. Lattery, modern catwalk, or lattery. <laughs> Ladder, modern catwalk, stairs, industrial walkways. Road barriers. Ooh, fix it roofs. Wow, they actually added roofs. I can't even believe that. Um, okay, hold on. Equipment parts. Oh, you know what? I can't do the turbo motors because I don't have them unlocked. So that's like not going to work for me. Equipment's customizer. Concrete wall. Oh, wall material. Foundation patterns. Organizer. Oh, you know what? We actually unlocked the customizer, didn't we? I think we did. Fix it hazard box, personal storage skin. Oh, that's super cool. There's our carts, there's our trophies. Uh, some more foundation attachments. Yes. Oh, wall power would be super nice. Okay, so I have zero tickets right now. So we've got to build the awesome sink. Uh, I don't really have stuff that I want to throw in there yet, but yeah, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. So I need 15 of these plates. So let's go ahead and grab some of these plates. Okay, so there's 15 plates. Let's go and we're going to build this over here. Um, awesome sink. So let's do something like maybe like that. And then we'll throw a storage container. I'm out of rods. All right. Now we have rods. Storage container is going to go right here. Uh, like that. And then we can throw whatever we want to in there. That's, you know, early game resource sink. Uh, let's see. Let's get this made up nicely here. Ta -da! Awesome. Oh my gosh. So excited. Okay. So now that we have that, um, did we get the customizer? Let me go see if we have a customizer in the workbench now, because I think we unlocked the customizer. It's no longer the paint tool. Wait. You know what? The customizer was on the other part, wasn't it? It was in art assembly. No, it was in build gun upgrade. This build gun upgrade adds a new tab to the build menu, the customizer from here on. <gasps> oh, <laughs> oh, okay. So we want a black and red, right? So let me grab, let's, let's see. Let's get a color swatch here. Custom swatch. Edit. Oh, oh wow. That just makes them black. Ooh. I think making everything black though is going to be like regular custom edit. So like we want red and black. Let's select that. Let's see what this looks like. Uh, that primarily makes it red. I don't know if I want it primarily red or if I want it primarily black. You know what I mean? So let's go ahead and swap these. How about now? Oh, see, that makes it primarily black. There's like no red accents at all. Interesting, interesting. If I make them black, the whole base is going to look dark all the time. So, but if I make it red, everything's going to look red all of the time. You know what I mean? Hmm. All right. So I adjusted these three swatches here. So we've got red and black, black and red and black. Should I make this just a solid red one too? Yeah, maybe. All right. So I just went ahead and changed the default color to a red and black. So we're going to see how this looks. Um, It is, it is red. Look at that. Everything's ragged, red and black. It looks pretty good. It looks pretty fancy. Okay. So now let's see what else we got. Oh my gosh, this looks so much better. Now Red Spire will actually be Red Spire. <laughs> All right, we need part assembly. So let's go ahead and select that. Let's go ahead and get what we can in here. So I need some more screws and plates and rods. You know, the only thing that didn't change color was the storage box. Interesting. All right, so there's our screws, rods, plates, ready to go. Part assembler launched. Milestone reached. Wonderful. Assembly of parts can now be automated. 
project assembly parts can now be considered that is fantastic okay so our next um jump pads i don't really care but logistics mark two might be handy especially if we start using power slugs on the drills so we'll go ahead and select that milestone next now we have assemblers now we need to start actually focusing on parts going in certain places so i'm thinking what we're gonna do here how much room do we have back here um uh, we don't have a lot oh actually i could just lay out foundations and we'll have plenty so i'm thinking maybe we'll do a level for each oh is that is that like a feasible thing it's like one level for plates one level for rods one level for screws did we get stairs yet? Foundations, walls. No, we did not get stairs. We need some stairs. Okay, so each level, I mean, that would be, we'd already be at three levels right now. And then we got the reinforced plates. That'd be a fourth level. I feel like that'd probably be okay. I feel like we'll do it. We'll do a level for each one. We'll see how it goes. And then if we want to change it later, we can. Yeah, it won't be an issue. Um, actually, that will be an issue right now because I don't think I have enough concrete. <laughs> oh, I don't think I have enough concrete for this. Um, you know what? The first thing we need to upgrade is our concrete production because that's that's what's holding us back right now. I feel like. Uh, did we get jump pads? Did we not get stairs yet? Are stairs not a thing? Are stairs are stairs in here? Stairs might be in here. Architecture. Ah, they're in here. Okay. Stairs left, stairs right, ladders, railings. Oh, okay. And then I also really want, oh, a conveyor lift floor hole. <gasps> oh, that's nice. Um, I really want these power outlets too to keep things tidy, but stairs. Stairs are probably going to be like a huge thing for us. We could just do ladders. Hmm. We could do ladders or we could do stairs. I don't know. Leave a comment down below. Ladders or stairs? I think stairs would probably work better, uh, especially because we're, all, we're also going to get the hyper tube and stuff like that. So, OK, so we got this guy. Um, yeah, we need to we need to upgrade. We need to increase our concrete production here. So let's go. So let's, let's see if we can find some slugs here. Um, do I even have? Oh, well, there's our assembler right there. Do I have my I have a Xeno Zapper? Did we make do we have the basher yet? No. Okay. And then we also don't have any food items either. Oh, look, we can have two, uh, two inventory slots. Okay. Let's go see if we can't find some slugs here. You know what? I know there's a slug right there. A yellow one. Oh, it's yellow though. And it's my first yellow one, which means, Ooh, yeah, that guy's going to destroy my face. Okay. Um, never mind. Let's pass that yellow one for now. Unless we should just totally run in there and get it. I'm going to be dead though. That guy shoots fireballs out like nobody's business. Oh, a little bit of quartz. Let's pick this up. We might be able to research it. Okay, let's see. There's got to be a slug here somewhere. I am a little bit worried about getting hit by something, though, because I don't have very much health. And I don't see any food. Oh, there's a, there's some, some wreckages here. Should we see if there's any goodies? I don't see any goodies. I need a slug, man. Ooh, here's concrete deposit. That's good to know. Or limestone deposit. Sorry. That will be good. Uh-oh. Somebody's growling at me. No? Oh, oh fire guy. Fire guy. Come on, come on, come on. Grab the slug. All right, we got a slug. We got one. <laughs> but we're going to utilize that one to turn it into uh, research. So we have to go find more slugs. <gasps> There's a slug. I see you over there. Right there. Bingo.
Isn't there a slug on the archway too? I thought there used to be. So I mean, I guess we could get a little bit of a uh, little bit of food on us now. Hmm. Oh, delicious. Oh, these barrel nuts are so good. They're so tasty. <laughs> You know, did they ever add farming? They haven't added farming yet. When are we going to get farming? I really want... I want to be the largest barrel nut producer on the planet. You know? Is that so much to ask? Where did my slug go? Oh, I walked right past him. Oh, he's right next to this dude. Oh, that's fine. We'll take you out. I need your carapace anyways. Aha! Huzzah! Huzzah! <laughs> you can't get me. Oh, darn. He gone. Okay. <laughs> I did take some hits, though. Not as I'm not as good as I once was. <gasps> slug on a tree. Slug on a tree. I repeat, slug on a tree. Is it... Uh... Oh, there's a one on the rock, too! Oh, my gosh. We got some double slug action here. Oh, we got a buddy right here. Let's take out this buddy. Buddy! Huzzah! Darn it. Okay, good to go. We got another uh, limestone deposit here. That's good. Slug on a tree, slug on a tree. You know what? I probably should eat some of these barrel nuts. Come to me, Mr. Slug. Oh, this one's being blocked by a fire spitter, dude. Not nice. Okay, pale berries. Good to know. Good to know. All right, you stupid fire spitter jerk face. That's not fair. You have like you have like auto aimbot on. You can never miss. I'm gonna die. Oh my gosh. It's like aimbot. Like you can't dodge him. Oh, the pale bears are so much better for you. All right, so there's that slug. I'd like to get a yellow one as well, just to get like the initial processing done, but I don't really see. I don't really see a yellow one chilling. Other than that one that's right next to that big, huge guy. But that big, huge guy would kill me with, you know, not even a second remorse. All right, you know what? I think we're good. Let's head back. Um, we've got a couple slugs, and that might help us a little bit. I was looking for more pale berries. It's kind of hard to see anything over here. <gasps> I see a pale berry. I hear a slug in there too, but I'm not gonna play with that slug. Pale berry though, yes. I need you. Did I get you? Okay. All right, we are back with slugs. Um, I actually want to ask you guys one question because I saw a comment before and I was kind of going back and forth on it. Do you think we should have a ramp like this in each side? So it goes up like that, basically just copy and paste it. So it's like that all the way around because then we can actually run stuff underneath to like these other areas, which would be kind of cool. Or do you think we should just leave it? Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Now, let's make some slugs. Um, I think we got to go to the ma'am to research the actual... Thing. And then we actually have to, oh, we have to research overclocking too, don't we? Because we have to re research, hold on, power slugs. Slug, oh, that's slug scanning. Oh, wait a second. Are you saying that I didn't need? Well, I guess I didn't need, uh, I guess I didn't need those slugs. I thought I needed those slugs in order to make power shards. Wait a second. In order to get a power shard, do I seriously need... Oh, no, I made... Okay, I got that power shard. Oh, okay. Well, let's go make some power shards then. Jeez. Power shards. Oh, four of them. How wonderful. So, the first one that's going to get powered up, I think, is probably going to be our concrete. And then I actually... I think we're gonna go tap into that uh that concrete node over there actually you know what 
I don't think I've scanned for a single thing this entire time. Uh, yeah, obviously there's that one. Okay, so we got one that way, one that. Oh, we got two not too far from each other. Not too far from each other. <laughs> okay, I think I want to go tap into those and bring those over here. However, if they both produce 60 per minute, we're going to need belts. We're going to need faster belts for that. That's not going to do me any good yet. All right, logistics mark two. Let's go ahead and throw all of these in. And we need, what, 50 reinforced plates? Ugh. Really should have those automated by now. And the plates are done. Okay. So, logistics mark two. Now, I know the mark two belts need those plates. So, we got to get those automated up like a stat. So, yes, verticality. Let's go ahead and let's get our... I'm trying to decide on the next level here you know what let's do this let's do this because i'm not 100 sure on this design if i want to do one floor for everything or not let's build up a second floor and let's uh wait why are we not zooping we need to be zooping let's build up a second floor and let's just get some plates being automated there for now and then we can kind of figure out how we want this layout to like actually proceed um i need to take all these out because we're gonna end up putting walls there and I need to go ahead and grab this. Oops, that was the wrong button. And we're going to zoop. Zoop. Oh, my gosh. Zooping is the best thing ever. <laughs> oh, Ooh. still lacking on the. Yeah, we're still lacking on the on on the on the the stuff, the the, the stuff, the concrete. You know, I could probably go ahead. I could probably make enough plates by hand to speed up our concrete production. Let's do that first because we need, I need the foundations found. You could say the foundations are the building blocks of the base. Okay. So let's go ahead and let's upgrade these lines here. I have like 45. So I'm hoping upgrade that and that. And then these can be 60 per minute. That's fine. Because what is the capability? 120? Yes. All right. And then let's go ahead and upgrade this belt and that belt. And then we should be good. We should be able to go down here. Select this guy. Oh, we don't have overclocking unlocked yet. <laughs> I forgot. Wait, is it still not done? It said it was like five. Oh, we have to go. We have to go hit the button. Uh, Confirm. Thank you. Okay, so power slugs, so then that, okay, not worried about that. Alien organs, do we have the stuff for that? Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and knock out some research here. Thank you. Um, oh, we can make biomass. Interesting. Okay, and then nutrients. Do I have any pale berries? Oh, I have a pale berry. Let's go ahead and get those going. Oh, the bacon, the mushroom bacon. I really wish we could grow this stuff. I think that would be just like the coolest thing. Um, okay, we go ahead and start our quartz up a little bit here as well. And then that's going to unlock uh, quartz and silica powder. Okay, cool. So let's actually go and get some things overclocked here. All right, so this bad boy, we need a slug. So that's going to be 90 parts per minute because these need what? These need 45. So that covers... Both these machines running at full at full bore. However, we need more. We need more. So I'm going to temporarily throw all of these on here. I want a hundred and oh it's 150. So basically that's only gonna allow me to do Wait, if I bring it back down to 120. Yeah, I guess we'll just let it do 150. That's fine. And then we'll get another one of these in here. Like a so. And then need another splitter. Okay. So now we have three machines making concrete. 
Perfect. Perfect. Okay. So we went from one, we went from two machines, one working at full time, the other one working part time, to three full time working machines. So that's going to increase our concrete production pretty decently, I feel like. I feel like it's getting pretty good. So uh, we'll hope for the best. Let that do its thing for a little bit. And then let's go see what else we got research wise over here. So jump pads are the only thing left. Oh, and it wants me to make a whole bunch of rotors. Okay. So we need to start making the smart plating here. Um, so what is, we can't build smart plating. So we got to actually have an assembler for smart plating. Okay. You know what? I, I went ahead and I added the extra one because we are making a little bit of extra um, concrete anyways. So we might as well, you like, you know, utilize the excess when it fills up and it, I mean, it's not like it's, it's not down by a lot. So that'll give us just a little bit more we squeeze a little bit more out of it so we went from two to four machines awesome um and it's dark i'm gonna wait till daytime because i know it's hard to see stuff at night you know i gotta say this is actually really nice <laughs> this is actually super nice uh you know what? i got some i got some trash in my inventory let's go ahead and get rid of the iron ingots i don't want to get rid of the flowers because like we're probably gonna need that for something at some point um, but we can get rid of like the ingots and the, the raw ore. Oh, this thing needs power. I think that thing sucks power. Um, I don't know if our power system can actually handle that. Yeah, no, not quite. Let's go get another biomass burner going. All right. Another biomass burner hooked up. Let's go ahead and grab ourselves. Let's go ahead and grab uh, a few of these to make sure everything's topped off. And then this one should, should be good now. Oh yeah, look at that. See, these guys are running out of power here. All right, perfect. Now, how are we looking good? Okay, good, 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 good. Look at this, we got, we got some, we got some tickets probably rolling in. Do we got tickets rolling in? Um, we <laughs> have zero tickets. <sighs> Wonderful. All right. So we need three walls for every floor. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get these kind of placed here and I'm going to start placing floors. Now you guys need to let me know what, what type of up and down method we're using. Are we using ladders or are we using stairs? I need to know. I need to know. I feel like stairs would probably look a little bit more, uh, normal esque, but that's fine. And I also didn't want these walls as my, like my next tier to walls. I kind of wanted the glass ones, but we can go through and change those later. So, all right, let's get some foundations in here. Shall we? Okay. So we got a floor. I need to be able to get up there though. <laughs> I can't even get up there right now. Oh, we need something. All right. I just set up foundations for now going up here. <laughs> Because I needed a way to get up here. Okay, so up here we're going to do some... We're going to start some assemblers going. Uh, we're going to get some plates going for our tier 2 stuff. And then I'd like to get... We need to see what we need for the... Oh, I need motors. Uh, we need to see what we need for the smart plating as well. So we can get the next tiers unlocked. All right, so let's go ahead and place an assembler. I just want to look at the uh, the recipes and stuff. So we got reinforced iron plates, which we already knew. Uh, oh, modular frame. That's right. Smart plating is reinforced plate and rotor. So we need uh, screws, rods, plates, more screws than anything, because that's how it always works. We always need a massive screw factory. <laughs> so let's go ahead and let's start off with getting... What do we need? One reinforced plate, six and 12... I guess we can go ahead and start working on those. So I'm, I'm sitting here thinking, I'm sitting here doing, you know, pondering, and I'm trying not to make mistakes of past because I've, I've done this before and I always build the same type of factories and the same thing always happens when I have to rebuild everything. And then it gets to a point where I don't want to rebuild it anymore. And this is like, let's just go start a new one. So I think in order to mitigate that happening, because that will happen 100% <laughs> is we're get, we need a floor for each thing. Um, we need plates, rods, screws, 
assemblers making the first thing and so on and so forth uh, i'm not utilizing the space now however it's going to get filled up and i'd rather have the space to fill it up in the future rather than having to like run out of space constantly so we're going to do that that's going to take me a little bit of time and then i also came up with another idea and the idea is we need to make a hall of things it's going to be interesting so um, i don't know i'm thinking it's going to be maybe right here and then the hall of things is going to be underneath and we're going to have storage containers for like everything so if i need something i can go and grab it you know what i mean uh the the hall of things <laughs> so that way i don't have these storage containers like this like peeking out of these walls right here because that's not like you know super great but if i had a hall that had all the things um that would be probably ideal and honestly with how this crater is we're already getting close to that wall over there the hall of things should probably be on this side over here so we need to make a hall of things and i'm thinking that maybe we'll put it right here i can zoop this right Oh my gosh, I can. Okay, so that's down one foundation, two foundations. Let's go down three, so that way we have room for additional shenanigans. Put that there. Expand it out. And then down here, we will start creating our Hall of Things. Okay, so that's cleared up. That looks like that. We have a spot for it. I'm not going to work on it right now uh, because I don't super need it yet, but we're going to need it. I do need to get the three floors going, though. I really need tubes. We need I need the I we uh, we need the hyper tubes so bad because if we had hyper tubes, we could just have a hyper tube going, you know, second floor, third floor, so on and so forth. You know, hyper tubes going like up the floors. Oh, that'd be so nice, but we're going to use ramps until then, I think. Um, are assemblers the same size as the other machines? Hold on. Let's go take a peek because I want to make sure that this is actually going to be... Are we going to have enough room for this? It's not going to be peeking out of the top, is it? Um, I don't think so. I think we'll be good. Yeah, we'll be good. Okay. I wanted to make sure. So I'm kind of just looking at how big this is going to be. So we've got first floor, second floor... Uh, one, two, three, third floor, and fourth floor. Oh man, this is the the towerage. the The towerage is about to be upon us. So that's what we're looking like right now because we've got plates, rods, screws, and then first assembler. Plates, rods, screws, and then first assembly area, second assembly area. Oh my gosh, this thing is gonna be massive. <laughs> Okay, so I built ramps up to each floor. Uh, they don't look great. Like, we're going to fix this, but I have ramps up to each floor. First floor, second floor, third floor, fourth floor. <laughs> it actually looks looks a lot better from the top, just saying. So there's all of our floors. Okay, so now we need to actually go through. We need to get foundation into all of these, and we need to get machines put in all of them, and then we need to start uh, getting things moving up and down between floors. You know, the that floor conveyor port is probably going to be a huge attachments this floor this thing right here would probably be huge um and that's probably going to help us a lot that would probably help us a lot like a lot of these things would help us a lot power walls things that would help us a lot too so we got a lot of stuff to get going oh my gosh and then we also have to figure out how we're going to do the outside of this because we can't just have it flat because that it's just going to look it's just going to look like a box you know so we can't just have these like going down flat like we're going to have to have some kind of like beams or something like running up the sides or, or something but that you know that's like way future stuff right now how's our concrete going uh it's going okay actually wow it's actually going pretty good another almost two full stacks already that's it's pretty good for me for me for at, at this point in the game <laughs> okay so i kind of started working on floors a little bit i gotta get more more everything um and then i was also thinking so if we do end up doing the ramps like this on each thing, 
the second floor we're not gonna be able to do it with but the third floor we're gonna be able to run pretty much all the way around because this would be a big enough opening so we'll probably end up running the third floors all the way around and like all connected together which is actually kind of perfect because the first uh, the first two first three ish are going to be like you know the standard super bog standard materials whereas like the next ones those are going to get a little bit more complicated more belts more things like that so that actually could be super beneficial for us to have that extra space for you know belt management and things like that um also if we're ever going to build a bus oh i don't even want to think about building a bus because like those buses are just not fun to build <laughs> but oh it's looking good it's looking good but that's going to end it for today thank you so much for coming out hopefully you guys enjoyed it. if you did like subscribe all fun things also um yes there's been three satisfactory episodes back to back and that is because i've been like super busy and it seems like people have been enjoying the satisfactory videos so i've been recording those but we're gonna get back on to the two days two day things um yeah i took I had a, we, we took out our, our side by side and had a late night and we were out till like one o'clock in the morning. It was a blast. It was so much fun, but I didn't get my work done and I need to get my work done. But yes, thank you so much for coming out. Have a wonderful day. Make sure you comment down below. Do you think the ramps, we should do that? And how do you think we should do the floors? Do you think we should do uh, stairs or ladders for now? Eventually they're going to be hyper tubes, but we got to figure out something for now. So I'm thinking I'm kind of leaning towards the stairs because then we just do a stair in each corner, you know, but I don't know. Let me know what you think. See you in the next one.